Okay, not not to worry. I'll try to keep us on task. So, <laughs> all right, and we are live. Good morning, Ruby Gold Diggers. Good morning, ladies. We are so excited to be here with you today. Happy Thursday. I am here today with Miss Marita, and my name is Kayla Rutin, and I just love doing these stylist interviews with our team to hear the different stories and the different backgrounds that all of the stylists on our team come from and want to come to share with us, especially a recent win that our stylists have had. So as you're listening to this, if you are a stylist and you want to share your story with us, we would love to have you. And if you are somebody who is a customer or maybe thinking about trying a Ruby Ribbon Cami for the first time, we are happy to share more and just um, tag your stylist in this video if you are watching live or send her a message and let her know that you saw the interview with Miss Marita this morning and wanted more information. So um, let's get started. Welcome, Marita. I'm so happy Hi. that you are here today. And nice I wanted to share, I wanted you to share a little bit more about a recent win that you had, which has been so exciting, um, being a stylist model for mm -hmm. our February launch items and kind of, you know, how you got outside your comfort zone doing that and grown from that experience. But before we get into that, I would love to hear a little bit more about your background, um, family life, where you're living, and that sort of thing. Okay, so I am from Ohio. I grew up in Amish, in Amish country, Ohio, and I am a, a farm wife here in Ohio, so I live in the Midwest. Um, right now it's cold, and uh, grew up in a really conservative background, um, and married a farmer, became a nurse, um, always wanted to do big things, especially um, for uh, my faith and just wanted to share the gospel, so to speak. Um, I always dreamed of being mis missionary. And in the last few years, my husband and I are raising our kids. Um, we became homeschoolers when we started doing mission work outside the country. And um, I gave up my career as a nurse in order to do those things. And um, really for the last few years, 10 years actually, I have been focusing on my family and really um, raising our kids, homeschooling, and we started doing mission work where we travel a couple times a year. And so um, that is really my background and it kind of leads me into why Ruby Ribbon was such a great thing for me when I found it. So when I started doing Ruby Ribbon, I was really at a place where I haven't felt this sense of accomplishment for myself for literally 10 years. Um, I have all the things I've been doing are all service and pouring out and pouring out and pouring out um, the volunteer work I do through my church and the mission work. Um, Marita, I'm yes. just going to pause for a second. Our audio is not coming through oh, um, super fine. clear. I'm not sure if that's on my end, but okay. Well, I know we had trouble with my mic earlier and I don't know what else I can do for it. It just sounds like um, it's a little bit muffled. That might just be on my end. Uh, ladies, if we have anyone watching, if you could just let us know in the comments, are you able to hear Marita or is that just on my end? It's clear for them. Sorry to interrupt. Okay, go okay, ahead, great. honey. So for me, I have been just in a stage of life where I have three kids. Um, everything that I do has been pouring into others. And I just was struggling with the sense of accomplishment and struggling with the sense of feeling like I was capable of doing anything that had financial um, had had financial um, income or anything like that. And my husband was always reminding me that everything I do has long term rewards, but the short term reward in my life was just really severely missing. And I actually considered going back to work here recently with the pandemic um, and nurses being in shortage. And I am still a registered nurse. But the way that looked for our family just did not compute. I could not do that and all the things that I'm committed to that are really my first calling. And so um, I had already loved Ruby Ribbon for a really long time. And I was always like quietly telling my, my girlfriends and my sisters, oh my goodness, you need Ruby Ribbon. And my stylist, um, now my sponsor, my stylist, like I was always drumming up um, business for her, whether I had a party or not, because I loved Ruby Ribbon so much. And originally I didn't think I could make it work in life. Um, to become a stylist. 
And then uh, with after a really long heart to heart with my husband, I just I said, I just need something that I could enjoy. And this is something I would love to do. And he's like, then go for it because I can see you need something like that. So I jumped into Ruby Ribbon and it wasn't just like, a, hmm, let's jump in and see if it works. It was I am going to do something I enjoy. It's for me. This is totally for me. This is not reliant on my kids if they get their schoolwork done on time or if we make it to that other activity we need to be at or all of the things on my calendar were all because of someone else and relying on someone else's ability to show up and my kids' ability to be on time and follow instructions and do their schoolwork, which can be really frustrating on a daily basis. So for me, jumping on Ruby Ribbon was a hundred percent for me so that I had something that was my own that relied on no one else. And I could simply do something I enjoy and shine at it all on my own and just regain that sense of accomplishment. And I think because of that, um, Ruby Ribbon has taken off for me. And then I've had these recent wins that have been fantastic and just, it has been an absolute godsend in my life simply because simply because it's something I enjoy. I don't mind talking about people's bodies because I'm a nurse. Um, I can talk about much harder things with people's bodies than our breasts and our body shape. I am a mother of all daughters. I get it. I know girl stuff. I am one. You know, I get girl stuff inside and out. I am, I have sisters. I totally get it. And Ruby Ribbon just fits me. Not only does the product fit, <laughs> but the um, business model just fits me so well. It couldn't have been more hand tailored for me. I love that. And thank you for sharing. I think you touched on so many important things that are so relatable to so many people listening to this. And um, if you are listening live, let us know in the comments, you know, are you a stay at home mom, a homeschooling mom, a nurse? Um, because I think that, you know, as women, we go through so many different changes um, throughout the various stages of motherhood and womanhood. And it does often require a pivot to have that peace and balance, you know, in motherhood and work life, family life, financial. And I think that's amazing that you were able to, you know, step into something that gives you joy with Ruby Ribbon and something that's your own. I hear that often from women that, you know, not only is this a a vessel for financial options and a little bit of extra income, but it is that thing that we can create, that we can work it the way we want. Like you said, right. um, the essence of what you said, you know, that you have control over this part of your life <laughs> because <laughs> who here is a mom and feels that lack of control sometimes. Mm -hmm. I definitely do. Um, so I know we do have, um, you know, quite a few homeschooling moms in our audience too. Um, not only, um, you know, who do that by choice, but maybe some people who have had to step into that role um, the last couple of years. And maybe it's something that they want to continue. And maybe it's something that they have, you know, it's been an opportunity for them to reconsider um, what they're doing for work and their family culture. So um, I know I didn't ask you this question ahead of time, but now that we're talking about it, what advice would you have for, um, because I think even if you're not homeschooling, you know, us busy mothers, busy women, how would, how have you successfully kind of fit this into your otherwise full plate and busy schedule? Well, my plate is very full, so I can definitely speak to that. Um, Ruby Ribbon has snuck into the cracks and crevices of time where I would have been, say, scrolling Facebook um, in the evening after the kids go to bed and after all the activities. Um, I, instead, I'm messaging and catching up and responding, replying to people, getting their sizing and fit recommendations. Um, I'm doing that and I'm enjoying it. Um, it's still very social for me. And so the times that I was using social media for that social outlet that I might not have um, during the day, I have when we have activities, but during the day. So I'm using Ruby Ribbon is still that for me. And I love it because I enjoy people so much. I love taking care of people. And so it's really just slid into those cracks in my day that I didn't realize I had. I felt so busy. Elsie, honey, mommy's on screen. Um, <laughs> my six-year-old. Um, I totally get it. <laughs> I was just so busy always um, going from one thing to the next and making sure our schoolwork was done. And then we have ballet and basketball and all of the things. And when my phone dings, I just, I glance at it. I see if that's personal or Ruby Ribbon. 
And then I think in my head about what I need to be doing for that. And the next time I have a moment, I simply reply and I handle it. And it's really just slid into all those little cracks that you don't realize you have. In fact, I felt so busy before Ruby Riven. And even though I've added that to my plate, I actually feel much more accomplished. And it's helped me to be better at organizing my time through my day than I was before. And so even though I've added, I've actually, <laughs> I've cleaned out a couple closets that have needed it. And I've, I've done a few random extra things that have just been waiting on my list simply because I've realized I can and have realized how to figure that out and balance it. So there are times when I have to put my phone away and say, not right now, Ruby Ribbon, I'm busy with my family. We're snuggling on the couch or we're reading a book and that's going to just wait. And that's okay. Everyone understands that. But somehow it's um, a lot of these um, teaching things that Ruby Ribbon does or a lot of these broadcasts. I catch the replay. I might miss the live, but I'll catch the replay and that's okay. And I still get the info. Um, and so it has been, I chunk my day anyway. So I have my morning chunk that I always do before we start school. And I've slid a Ruby Ribbon check into my morning chunk. And then I have a chunk that we do for school and nothing else interrupts that. And then I have a chunk over lunch and I slide Ruby Ribbon into my lunch chunk. And then I have an afternoon chunk and I slide Ruby Ribbon into my downtime of my afternoon chunk, which is usually like it goes, it goes away very quickly. But then I also slide Ruby Ribbon into my bedtime chunk of my day. So I don't know if anyone knows about how to chunk your day. But instead of keeping a rigid schedule, you simply have routines that you do at different times of day. And then I have alarms set on my phone to tell me when it's time to switch. <laughs> so that's how I make Ruby Ribbon fit into all the stuff that I already do. And it's been fantastic because several times a day I have something that is for me. I love that. And we do that same thing in our house, the time chunking and yeah. I think it's important to, you know, draw attention to a few things that you said that, um, you know, while we're being intentional with our time and chunking that time, it really doesn't take a lot of time if you're intentional, you know, a 15 minute chunk of time. Yeah. I don't know if I heard you say this or if I thought of this when you were saying this, but like sliding a paycheck into your schedule, <laughs> right? <laughs> like we're already on our phones. We are already being social and social media. We're going to be scrolling anyway. So why not be making money, you know, during that time? And why not be filling that need to serve others? You know, you mentioned that you feel really good about helping others. And I think most of the women, you know, who are all of the women who do this kind of work do. That's that's what, you know, keeps us going and keeps us um, filled with joy, um, whether that's our families or our customers we like to serve. Um, Something else that I heard you say with regard to uh, cleaning out your closets, isn't it interesting <laughs> how the skills that we can learn in our business, you know, like scheduling time and being intentional with time, chunking it is transferable to other areas of our life. And I have noticed that too, like I am the busiest I have ever been in my life. And we've added three new babies to our family since I started my Ruby Ribbon business four years ago. And I am getting way more done now than I did when it was just me and our first baby. And it's just crazy, you know, like that intentionality. So I love that you, that you brought that up. Um, so I would love to hear um, before we wrap up this call, cause I know that we're both busy moms <laughs> that um, your recent win with Ruby Ribbon. So if you could share with us about your, your recent win, your modeling experience. And I'm like, internally, what does that feel like for you to, to do that and the growth that happened there? So it really felt like this huge deal. And when I was first asked to model, I had only been a stylist for, I don't know, five or six weeks. Like I was brand new, but when I hit the ground running, I already had all these people that I knew and loved that, that liked Ruby Ribbon. And so we, it just like, it soared for me right away. And I'm naturally excited and was just genuinely sharing. And so when I was invited to be a stylist, I was like, oh my gosh, what an honor. I have to say yes. I don't even know what they're going to have me model yet. And I said yes. And my husband was actually gone on a mission trip. So I didn't even have time to check and make sure he was comfortable with that, you know, because this is his just as much as it's mine. And um, so 
But anyway, so I said yes. And then I got the Demi and panties and I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. I was uncomfortable with that, to be really honest. And the first, we, you got to model two times. So the first one, it was just for the stylist. And I wore like a little kimono underneath, over my Demi and my panties. And I stayed close to the camera and I stepped back and gave a little spin and stepped forward again. And I felt like, okay, I did that. All right. That wasn't bad. And I felt like that was okay. But then the thought of doing that again in front of like the world, you know, for all the customers was just a lot. And so I was taking notes of how all of the other very seasoned stylists did this. And um, actually, I did the second one from my parents' um, guest room in Florida because we had an impromptu visit. Um, my dad's been ill with cancer and we just needed to go and our schedules opened up and it worked. My only conflict was that, um, that launch. And so, hey, Ruby Ribbon people said, by all means, life happens and we keep going. And so that's exactly what I did. I did it from my parents' guest room. Um, and this time I said, you know what? I can do this with leggings on, our brand new leggings that I had just gotten. I put on my Ruby Ribbon leggings over the panty. I actually wore them all day so I could speak to how well they held up to biking and walking and all the things. And um, I learned that I don't have to show the items if I'm uncomfortable with that, I don't have to show everything to talk about how this Ruby ribbon is better for me than what I had been wearing. And so that was a huge win. I took notes from the other stylists and how they shared, how they talked about pairing their items with other things. Um, and I just, I just was soaking it all in because there, I was paired with so many people who had a lot of experience and it was fantastic. And I got to know right away, the leadership in Ruby Ribbon is all about women still having a life. Your life is not Ruby Ribbon. Ruby Ribbon is part of your life. And that was really encouraging for me because I could still do what I needed to do for my family. I could still, um, also do really well at Ruby Ribbon. And so I learned how to share Ruby Ribbon without taking all my clothes off, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Win. Right. And that's such a good call out too, because I think that, you know, for those listening who are stylists or maybe you're considering becoming a stylist, um, you know, we don't have to share in a way that's uncomfortable. There's so many different ways to do it. And there's so many amazing women who are stepping forward to do this, you know, modeling for us, um, sharing their images. And so, you know, our job as stylists is just to share information, right, in a way that's comfortable to us. And I love what you just said about the part-time culture here at Ruby Ribbon from our leadership, that this is something that we do add to, you know, an already busy plate. Most of us women are moms or working full-time other jobs. And, you know, we are fitting this in nooks and crannies. And, and the fact that we have, you know, our corporate and our team leadership to support that and make it easy, you know, to share in part-time hours using those tools. So I do have one last question for you, Marita, if that's okay. Um, I know we're we're getting uh, a little bit past our time here, but what um, would you recommend to somebody who is maybe a new stylist or and maybe hasn't had too quick of a start, or somebody who is considering becoming a stylist? Do you have any advice for her? You know, into stepping into that courage and just you know trying a few new things. Maybe she's you know really needing some extra income from her for her family, or maybe like you, she's trying to um, you know step into a joyful position, something you know, for herself that will make a difference for herself and her family culture? Well, I guess my best advice to a brand new stylist is simply share it. Um, I found that I would share it with my friends and I would share it with my family and they're like, oh, really? Is that even possible? Yes. Let me show you. And I would show them what I was wearing today and show them and they're like amazed. And so the next step is simply getting them an opportunity to put it on their own body and see it. It's just the genuine, look what Ruby, Ruby Ribbon has done for me. I've gotten rid of the back pain between my shoulders because of Ruby Ribbon. And I'm not a hugely chested woman. I'm like a D or a double D, but it still has made a huge difference in not only like what I'm carrying around every day, but I can do anything but run in my Ruby Ribbon. And so I can be active and I don't have to stop and change all the time. Um, just 
telling women, um, my hairstylist, I was telling her, oh my goodness, you would love these. And she was like, actually, I've been looking. And so next thing you know, um, she might be one of my hostesses, actually, because she has a few friends that would love it too. It's just simply opening your mouth and telling people about something you're excited about. If you started a new job anywhere else, or say you purchased a new vehicle, or you bought a new home, those are things we naturally talk about to our family and friends. And that's all I have been doing with Ruby Ribbon. I'm simply sharing what it's done for me to people I love and care about. And they know that I'm not trying to be a sales lady and trying to sell it to them. They know that I'm genuinely sharing something with them that has worked for me. Um, and so when people know your heart and they know that you just want to tell them about your life and what you're up to, they receive it so much better. I know sometimes people are like, oh, wait, she's, she's just trying to sell me something. That's not at all what Ruby Rib sharing Ruby Ribbon's about. It's about saying, hey, look, look what this has done to me. Oh, my goodness. Look at my figure. I look fantastic under this shirt I couldn't wear before. And then you have friends that are like, is that even possible? No wires. What? I've been living with this miserable thing all my life. And you don't know what's happening under someone's clothes that they're struggling with, even while you're actively talking to them. They might wear have this horrible wire digging into them today, and they're having a rough day simply because they're wearing a bra. And you mentioned something and the timing. I mean, and they don't always fall on receptive ears, but most of the time they do. So simply share, just open your mouth and share about it just like you would about any other exciting new thing in your life because that's what it is. It's a very exciting new thing in your life. I love that. And so many good shares there and so true and relatable. You know, it's almost like when I got started as well, I felt like, how do I, you know, I, don't, I think we have that idea in our head that we're being spammy or that we are feeling salesy. And really it's no different than recommending our favorite restaurant right. or something that we love. And women love to talk about the things that we love. And so I have grown to realize that it was just me, you know, being self-conscious about that. It wasn't how others felt about me when I was, you know, sharing that because we truly do have the solution to the million dollar bra problem. And yeah. once we you know, acknowledge that it's like, we almost feel selfish not sharing that with other women that we love. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so that's amazing. That I appreciate your time to share how the camis have become not just like products that you love and share with others, but it has become like a lifestyle and part of your culture, part of your family culture and, and how you show up in other areas of your life, decluttering your house, <laughs> you know, that these, these things that we learn um, with this business that can be transferable. So um, thank you so much, Marita, for being on here. And if you are a stylist watching this and you would like to share your story or a recent win that you have had, we would love to have you join us. Um, feel free to comment or reach out in a message and we can get something on the calendar. And if you are um, somebody who has not tried Ruby Ribbon yet, or maybe you've been wearing it for a long time, but you um, haven't, you know, considered the, uh, business portion of what we do. I encourage you to tag the stylist who invited you to this or um, send a message to somebody watching and we can get you set up with that today. We have some amazing stylist discounts and new kit options that are new and improved and fabulous. And uh, you have nothing to lose except your bra. So um, thank you again, Marita, for your time this morning. I hope you have a beautiful day with your family and homeschooling and we will chat again soon. Bye. Thank you.